I put to get together a video just the other day about building your confidence to step into the boardroom and I got resounding feedback from a whole raft of different executives in my network, both experienced and inexperienced board directors, aspiring board directors who are trying to get the confidence levels up, um, even to apply for roles. And then when they're in their first or second board seat, having the confidence to really operate well in the boardroom setting. Now, I've got a couple of extra tips. Uh, First and foremost, it's really important that you are educated in this sector. I know a few executives are trying to sort of slip by without doing a corporate governance course and trying not to go and enroll in the GAICD or a Bond University program. You know, the reality is that, you know, there's a very big demarcation between the amateurs and the professionals in the board director market. And if if you aspire to serve on a board, if you aspire to lead the company, if you aspire to be really recognised as one of the most important people in the company who sets the strategic direction of the business, manages the critical risks in the business, it's absolutely imperative that you underpin that with education. You just cannot cut this corner. Um, There are a few hacks as to how you may get that course sponsored and paid for in lieu of board fees, but the reality is that it is really critical that you do under, undertake some form of education and this will help you with your confidence. This will help you with understanding what you can and cannot do in a boardroom setting, what your fiduciary responsibilities are, what are the risks you need to be aware of and so it's absolutely critical that you do undertake at some point in time uh, some form of uh, formal board director governance education. It's not critical you do it in the you know the immediate uh, you know early days, I know some executives who go and get a couple of board seats. They confirm that the work is for them. They confirm that they enjoy the work, and then they'll go and do their GAICD or their Bond University course, and they'll uh, get their formal qualifications. And I think that's really critical to building confidence. The second point is really around um, developing key relationships with the people around the boardroom. Those relationships are not just built on those exact specific board meetings that happen each year. They happen because of the sidebar meetings, the coffee chats, the uh, informal conversations that take place around the boardroom. That is how you build rapport. That is how you build relationships. This is how you build uh, trust with each other. And this also underpins your confidence because you know when you're in the boardroom, you know who may have a similar mindset, who might also agree with your points. And conversely, you might know the executives or the board members that don't agree with you or won't have the same viewpoint. So you can be aware of how you're going to handle those people in the meeting. Again, it helps with confidence. It helps with your professionalism. It helps you come across in a really polished and professional way. So they're my extra tips, if you like, to build the confidence to serve and contribute as a next generation board director.